Hey guys, so it is Saturday. What's today's date, man? The 19th? Mm-hmm. It is day 19th of Vlogmas. So basically, me and I have been up since like 7 something. And basically, um, we didn't really, we like left the house at like, I think 11 or like 10 something. We had to like drop some things off and stuff. Now we're at Chick fil A. It's just long behind line or whatever. Um, I'm recording on my phone because I did not bring my camera with me. So we're out here for the day. Then we're going to go back to my house. I don't know what order we're going to do stuff, but um, well, today we're gonna. I'm going to do my nails. And then I think we're going to make the gingerbread house, uh, depending on like timing or whatever. But today's like a chill Saturday or whatever. And then tomorrow I'm going to get a... Uh, covid and an antibody test like i know i don't have no covid or anything but i'm getting an antibody test so i was just like hey might as well do the covid test too at the same time uh i did one before or whatever so i'm gonna do that tomorrow and then tomorrow i really don't have nothing like crazy i want to do i don't even know um but yeah i will talk to y'all later bye <laughs> All right, guys, we got Chick-fil-A. We better eat this in the car real quick. So we got the meal, which comes with the fries. Um, and I got, we got some chicken sandwiches. My, I got a spicy one. I got a regular. And then we got lemonade. And, and I just noticed literally that they only gave us one sauce. And it's like, bitch, I'm going to devour this sauce on my two fries. Like, come on now. All right, hey guys, so I'm doing my nails right now and I basically decided to vlog because um, I didn't really vlog much today. So I was just like, let me vlog a little bit. And I don't wanna make this vlog too long because um, yesterday's vlog was like really long and stuff like that. So basically, like I said, today was just a chill day. Now I'm just doing my nails. Um, and then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna do our nails. And then depending on how we feel, we might make the gingerbread house, maybe not. Um, I don't really know. If I don't make the house today, then we'll obviously make it another day. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I wanted to like get my hair, um, Put it down into my middle, you know, so I can put my wig on, put it on to wash my hair. But the lady that does my hair, like, um, she did not text me back, and I'm not about to double text her because I don't really care that much. Because literally, if I want, I can do it myself or have my mom put on my hair. But obviously, like with her, it's just that the braiding is tighter and it's more like perfected. Um, but it doesn't really matter, especially like if I put my curly wig on, it's not like you really notice it. So I might just do it myself tomorrow, depending on what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Because I want my hair, I don't want my hair natural for like uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I think I might just do my hair tomorrow. And I'm happy school is out. Um, so I have some like Monday and tomorrow, depending. I'm gonna do some last minute Christmas shopping and then probably do my hair. And then Tuesday, I'm going to work a little bit, and Wednesday. And then Thursday's Christmas Eve. I want to do something cute on Christmas Eve, but I don't know who I'm going to do that with. And then Christmas Day, like in the morning, we just open gifts and then kind of do whatever. Um, I think Christmas Day, I'm going to link up with my friend and we're going to um, exchange gifts <laughs> and watch Christmas movies because we were going to pick a day that we were going to exchange gifts, but like based on my schedule, my schedule is like complicated or whatever. So we'll probably just do it on Christmas. Like, because I don't do anything. I don't do anything with like my family like um during Christmas Day. Like it's just like in the morning we open gifts and then everybody just kinda watches Christmas movies and like go into their room and stuff, especially because like we're older now. So we really don't do much. Um so yeah. Um so I got my dog right here because basically he whines a lot when he's in the cage and like he hears people. So I literally put the gate to block him from getting in between the nail stuff and then I left the door open for his little space down there and then I closed my upstairs door. Um I'll probably do like a house for um, once I finish my zone, because I'm gonna talk like, what is she talking about? But yeah, if you don't know, I started doing nails or whatever. So I've been practicing, and basically I practice on Maya and like this big hand thing or whatever. So if you wanna let me practice on you, let me know. Um, I got all this stuff, because literally when I set my mind to something, I literally buy so much stuff for it. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, hold on, let me set this camera to so you guys see, see the action right now. And let me see. All right, so right now, basically I had to take off, because I did my nails before, so I had to take off the polish that was on her nails. And then um, she had like two nails that were broken, so I just fixed them. And then now I'm going to, um, I'm going to start like the acrylic system. So basically, let me show y'all what we got going on over here. So, let me show you. The acrylic that I'm gonna be using is from Valentino. I showed this in my other vlog that I just got it because recently, like obviously since I'm new with my nails, I've been testing products out. So I literally had um, Mia Secret, but when I did this nail class, um, she told me that Mia Secret is definitely like a little bit runny and stuff like that. So it's a little bit hard to work with as a beginner. So she um, recommended me different things. And on Black Friday, I ordered the Valentino and I have different shades and I have the um, the monomer. So that's what I'm gonna be using for Maya today um, cause it's like my new stuff. So I'm like, yeah, why not try it out? Because I finished my Mia Secret monomer um, when I was practicing nails. I don't think that was yesterday, it was a different day. I was practicing nails and I finished it. So I was just like, okay. Um, but right now, like, I'm seeing kind of what products I like best or whatever. So definitely, from my perspective, I wouldn't really get me a secret right now. Um, because I definitely agree that it is a runny product. Um, so yeah. So now I'm just opening the acrylic up. And I got my, um, my, I don't know what they call these, um, Kal Kalonsky or Kalinsky brush. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm using a number 10 because when I did the nail class, um, she recommended that I use a number 10. So I'm using a number 10. Um, 
and they got from Neon. Yeah. Okay. So I think I said this. The color I'm using is perfect new because I got four of them from Valentino and I got um I got white, pink, and nude and another color. But I was just like I'm gonna do nude just um because yeah, why not? So basically I'm just um getting my brush in the monomer and wiping one side off. Sure yeah. And then the other side that is wet, I'm going to put it in acrylic and then we pull it out. So basically, like I'm still learning, so obviously I'm not perfect, y'all. Um, but basically, whatchamacallit? Basically, um, I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, so I've been like practicing or whatever, because this is something like I've always um wanted to like do nails and stuff. Because if you know me, like before I used to always have my nails done. Like if you look back at old videos, I would get my nails done every two weeks. Like, um, but basically I took my nails off with this whole like corona. And then like I had um before the corona, I had like completely lost one of my nails. I think it was it was my uh, pinky from like I said, I was in a uh, toxic situation. And yeah, so literally I was fighting and my nail came off like because I have fake nails on. So like you know when you hit your fake nails on something, like sometimes the whole nail be ripping off. So that's literally what happened. Like my, my real entire nail ripped off. It was tragic. Um and it took like months to grow back. Like, could you not? Like it took months for it to grow back. So basically once like corona came, um around the time corona came, that's when I grew back. And then like I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna take all my nails off because like the salons were closing and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm not beat. Um, um, I, was, I was like, yeah, like I'm not beat um, and stuff like that. And like, I needed to get my nails a break. And then I personally knew like with nursing school that once like I start clinicals and stuff, I couldn't have like the long nails and stuff. So I was just like, huh, might as well just give this my stuff now. Like, um, and then I was just like, oh, this would be the perfect time for me to start my side hustle of like doing nails because like I can't wear nails myself. So it's just like, um, you know, it's a little bit easier when you're doing other people's nails and you don't have nails on because like, especially when you're a beginner, um, personally my perspective, like obviously if you're, you're advanced and you can probably do nails with, um, you know, having your nails done, but I can't. So yeah, um, that's the backstory. And basically the main reason I wanted to start nails is because like, I've always had a hard time like um, when getting my nails done, like finding the perfect um, nail tech and stuff like that. And cause it was like me, I'm big on customer service. So like, you know, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but like the Chinese people, some of the, like, the salons, they lacked like customer service skills. So that would make me very mad. And then like the other, like the luxury salons by me, like a lot of them were like far um, or like it was just like the booking was like crazy, like to get in there and stuff like that. So yeah, it was always like an issue for me. And then like some people are just very unprofessional. And like if I'm paying you for a service and you're unprofessional, like it just rubs me the wrong way. So um, I don't like that. Um, so yeah. So I was like, I want to be the nail tech that I wanted. Like, um, but yeah, basically I'm gonna end this vlog here because I just wanted to vlog a little bit because I know earlier my vlog was very um short and i didn't want to make this vlog like i said extremely long because my vlog for yesterday was long um so yeah just so you know guys i announced the giveaway winner um on live yesterday on my main account if you weren't on the live um then basically sophia had one so i gave her her gift today um but yeah so that giveaway is closed um i'll probably do another giveaway in february when it's um my one month anniversary of Mebology. I'll probably do a giveaway then. So stay tuned for that. But a lot of people didn't follow the steps, but it was a little bit confusing because um like I said like go to the video and a lot of people didn't go to the video um like based on my post. So I was just like okay whatever. Um that was just that. But I'm excited y'all like well this is actually crazy it's about to be over because Christmas is this week. It's insane. Honestly to me like flew by like I didn't think I was gonna be able to upload every day and I'm so proud of myself because like I did it. Like uh, um I did it like I'm so proud of myself and I'm so proud of like um my followers for staying tuned and just participating by watching me and liking these videos and commenting because i'm telling you like probably if i was getting like no likes and no um comments i would not um i probably wouldn't have kept going the entire vlog like literally nobody was watching but i definitely did get some good views and i definitely gained some um subscribers i definitely gained some subscribers um from doing vlogmas so that is definitely appreciated um so yeah, I'm going to probably record once I finish her nails, just so you guys can see the final process and see, because I want to like kind of start like, I've been taking, obviously I've been taking pictures, but I wanted to also like, um, sometimes record when I do nails, so like I can like document my progress or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to record when I'm done with her nails. Um, so I will see y'all soon. And just so you know, if you're not already subscribed to me, you need to subscribe and like this video, comment down below if you have any video requests that you want me to do this week before Vlogmas ends, because Vlogmas is about to end, and if I can't do it by the time Vlogmas ends, I will do it before the new year, so yeah, basically comment down below any video you want to see from me before 2020 ends, and I'm going to try to get out there before it ends, um, but yeah, stay safe y'all, and hold on for the final product.